Welcome back to lcstuffblogspot.com. This is my very first tag. I had to look up what a tag was because um, I didn't really know. I was tagged by the lovely Jackie and typical LC's Libra fashion. I couldn't decide on just one thing. So sit down, tuck in, and check out my colors of the rainbow tag. Starting with red, I have the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm Stain in the shade Romantic. And this is what I have on my lips at the moment. And it's just a pretty easy way to wear red. Then I have the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur. This is a great product. And I'll put this on even without makeup just to hide those pores and to blur out those imperfections. In fact, I did a post about this if you want to check this out. I also did a post about how to wear a red lip if you want to check those out as well. For orange, I have this Hard Candy Fox in a Box blush that is kind of orangey and I only wear this in the summertime. So this is in the shade Skinny Dipping. Another orange product that I love is one of my all-time favorite polishes and you'll find that that's a trend throughout this tag but it's the Ulta Polish in the shade O. So it kind of looks like a dupe for NARS for their polish but it's a beautiful peachy golden shimmery polish. It looks so pretty on the toes in the summer. I also have this Revlon Photo Ready Blush in the shade Coral Reef and it's a beautiful, a little bit expensive for drugstore, but it's a beautiful cream blush. If you have dry skin, you'll definitely want to try this out. It's very buildable and very wearable for all skin colors. For yellow, I have the Miss Jessie's Quick Curl and I actually received this in my Birch Box um, a couple years ago, but I've since bought a couple of tubes of this because I love it that much. If you have naturally wavy or curly hair, you might want to pick this up. It will help define those curls. You don't even have to scrunch. You just put it in and it looks very nice. Next for yellow, I have the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And this comes in a few shades, but this is more suited for medium and darker skin tones. So I, again, this is another product I wear in the summer. But it's great at doing like the reverse highlighting look or just anywhere you want extreme highlighting. And the reason that most people know about this is through Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. So if you kind of want to achieve the look that she has, this is a powder to start with. I like to use it to set my concealer underneath my eyes. And they have all sorts of different shades. So if this isn't suited for your skin tone, they have several other colors that could work for you. My last yellow product is on my nails right now. And it's this L'Oreal Scented Polish in Lemon Meringue. And it's just a beautiful buttercream pastel yellow because we know like yellow polishes, I tend to just keep them for nail art, but I don't actually wear them. This is one that I can actually wear and love. And I got this in 2012, their spring collection of scented polishes that they had. And if you can find these, I know I've seen them at Big Lots recently. They're really pretty and the scent isn't bad as well. For green, I have this Garnier Moisture Rescue Fresh Cleansing Foam. I want to make sure that I got it right. But this kind of has a consistency similar to Noxzema, but it's a wonderful cleansing foam. I use this to get rid of my makeup and clean my face and get it started for the day. I also like because it doesn't have citric acid in it as a lot of deep cleansers do, which causes my skin to just have a reaction and break out. So if you haven't checked this out and you have dry skin or just any type of skin, really, um, this is really good. Another favorite polish of mine is this First Timer Polish from Essie, and this was in the Resort 2013 collection. I've been trying to make this myself for years, and it never turned out this good, so I'm glad there's finally a shade that will work. Blue, sharing two hair products, the Not Your Mother's Texturizing Cream and the Not Your Mother's Sea Salt Spray. Both of these smell excellent. Even if you don't have waves in your hair or you can't create them no matter how hard you try, I suggest this stuff anyway if you have fine or limp hair because it can help to dry out your hair and when your hair is a little bit dried out and has that texture to it, that's what's going to give you the curls that last. So if you haven't tried that as an option, I know I've done a couple blog posts on this, you might want to try that. I also have, once you get the curls, the defining cream. So this isn't going to help develop your curls like the Miss Jessie's does. This instead will just define the curls that you already have. And again, I've got a video and a blog post on how to use this. One last polish for blue, and this is Sally Hansen's Mermaid's Tail. And isn't that gorgeous and just absolutely scream summer? I love it with the blue and the green and the sparkles. It makes me think of the ocean. 
all this stuff is kind of summery, isn't it? Now that I think about it. Ooh, I want to go swimming after this. Indigo is the Volume Rocket Express from Maybelline. I love this mascara. It was in my favorite mascaras of 2013. I know not everybody is a fan. If you have shorter, especially stubby lashes, I don't think you'll like this. But if you have medium length, then it could possibly work for you. It's a 10. It's a little bit expensive. But... For hair care, it is really nice. It supposedly does all of these things. I know that it keeps my hair soft and silky, and I use this a lot in the summer. Go on to Violet. I have the Derma Doctor Meditate Towelettes, and if you have hyperhidrosis, which is where you sweat a lot, or if you're just in the summer or whenever and you sweat, this is a good thing to have because it helps to dry out any place that you put this towelette. So think like your face, your armpits, your palms, your body or the soles of your feet, that's what I use it for. So in my bag, this is always there in the summer. You can get these at Ulta and Sephora. Derma Doctor. You guys have heard me talk about this a bazillion approximately times and it's the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner. I love the way this smells. I love the way this works. And when I'm at the beach, I'll wet my hair, put this in and like put my hair up in a bun and just at the end of the day, even after being in the hot sun, my hair isn't fried. And I've used this also as a leave-in conditioner. I've watered down, of course. I've used this as like to even shave with. Okay, all secret time. When I'm at home by myself doing my little secret single behavior, you know what I'm talking about, um, from Sex in the City, but what I'll do is I'll either wet my hair or put it dry and put this in, put my hair up in a bun, put a shower cap on, and that's when I clean my house. So I'm deep. I like to think of it as multitasking because I'm not a very good multitasker. I have a very short attention span, so this is kind of like the closest I get to that. Is that weird? Okay. My last hair care product for Violet and just my hair care product for this video, I need a moment of silence to remember the straighten up. Do you guys remember this? It's from Sunsilk. It's my favorite hair care product of all time and they discontinued it in 2010, much to my dismay. And everybody laughed at me when I had a box that I specifically packed all these in. I think I had stockpiled like 30. That sounds crazy. I know. I know, but if you find something that works in your hair, which my hair is so hard to manage, it's it's a miracle. It's a lifesaver. So not only does this smell amazing, and I'm down to 13 bottles, but it helps to eliminate the frizz so it smooths my hair and straightens it, but I can still curl my hair with it. So that seems to be a problem that I have with hair care products, but not with this, and I'll be so sad when this is gone. If you can think of a replacement for something that will smooth your hair, get rid of the frizz, and kind of straighten it out, but you can still curl it with a curling wand or iron, let me know so I can try it. Okay, so I have a couple of other colors that you're supposed to cover. The first one is pink. So for pink, I have this NYX gloss in the shade beige, which is really pink. But it is so pretty, and I can't really wear nude glosses, so this is like one of them that actually works. This product I've talked about on the blog before, but I've never shared it in a video, and it's the Bioderma Makeup Remover. The first time I ever tried this was in Paris, and I was hooked ever since. So I still, since they don't sell it in the States, I'll order it like off of Amazon or eBay. I just kind of look around every couple of months for good deals. It looks like water, it has no scent to it, and it is the best thing at removing makeup. I just feel automatically cleansed after this. Even for the most stubborn waterproof mascara, you just put this on a cotton pad or a washcloth, place it on your eyes for a few seconds and, and wipe away. So if it, it is pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but this is one of those, for somebody that has sensitive skin, sensitive eyes, this is worth it. My last item is the multicolored or rainbow item. So I don't really have anything that's rainbow colored. I do like rainbows, but I have this. It's the Sephora bag. It's like a palette. Isn't it cute? And you open it up, and inside you have all of the colors. So this is my multicolored item. I bet y'all thought this was never going to end. I know, I never talk this much in real life, but I wanted to encourage you to do this tag even if you're not a beauty person by fashionistas get out your shoes your accessories your clothes everybody can do this you can find stuff maybe it's your favorite food but i encourage you all to do this you don't have to make a video you can just share it on your blogs and let me know so i can check those out as always have a great day be safe behave be well love l hanhart